Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk with you about bus automation. Um, it's not real clear how to do it in Studio One, but it certainly is possible to do it in Studio One, and actually once you see it, it'll make sense. Um, but I figured I'd run through uh, the basics of how to do it, and um, hopefully this will be helpful. So in my mix here, my I've got it set up where I've got all my instruments coming into separate auxes, and I use buses for those, so I've got all the drums coming into this aux, lead vocals, background vocals, bass, keys, etc., okay? So when I'm getting towards the end of a mix, I'll often use these buses, or these auxes here um, to do, like, volume automation. Um, you know, basically gain automation to, you know, basically maybe bring drums up, bring drums down, guitars up, guitars down, etc. So, you click on this, there's no real way, it doesn't, doesn't really appear to be a way to do it. So, the easiest way to do it, well, the only way to do it is this. Um, what I do is I set up an automation folder um, in my song file, and then I'll just, just do a right click, add automation track, okay? We'll just make that a little bigger so we can see it, okay? And we're going to just call this, uh, what we're going to do in this one, we're going to automate the drum. So we'll call this drum aux auto, okay? And we're going to automate the drums so that after the intro of this song, we bring them back down a little bit. Right now I have the, the aux or the bus here, aux if you will, at 0 dB, and then I'll just bring it down probably about 3 dB once we get into the vocal. So next step here is so once I create the automation track, next step here is click on this where it says none, do add and remove. Uh, this it'll bring up this little dialog box. Click on the console. I go all the way down and basically what you do is you select the bus that you want. Again, I'm calling it an aux. It's actually a bus. So I select that. And then once I do, I have the I have the choice of using uh, automating volume, pan, or mute. So in this case, I want to automate volume. So I'll just add that here, and you'll see that volume comes here as the uh, the, auto the action to automate. If I wanted to set up separate tracks for this aux to automate volume and pan, I could certainly do that. All right, so that's pretty simple way to set it up. Uh, probably a good idea would be to color code that so that it matches the aux track so I know what it's for. But it's going to be in this automation folder, and that's how I'll keep... Um, track of it so all is left to do now is to automate and I can do that a couple of ways I could do it um, by clicking which is you know one way to do it basically clicking points and moving this up and down okay that's one way to do it or what I'll just undo that or the, the uh, cool way to do it is just to do right okay and once you set this in right mode you hit play and as you hit play you can move the fader up and down and it'll register you'll see it register here okay I'll make this a little bigger so we can really see it alright so here's the vocal track that we're going to be uh, um, listening to we're actually going to listen to the whole song but again what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to drop the level of the drums back as the song gets into the lead vocal so here it goes So I think that's enough to give you an example here. So now I'll just switch this back over to read. And when I play this back, watch the fader here. Once in town, here I go. Feels like now I'm taking on the world alone. All alone. Saw you all tonight and 
and I gotta say It really made me feel alright But maybe I wanna cry So what? We said goodbye But what the hell's a goodbye If it's not for life If it's not for life There it is. Pretty simple. So hopefully that was helpful. This really this allows you to to have great control over the dynamics of your song. As I said, it's pretty easy to set up. So I hope that was helpful. Please comment, subscribe, check out our my our Twitter account. It's Home Tracks eighty eight uh, at Home Tracks eighty eight. Check out our Facebook account. It's uh, Facebook slash Home Tracks. Please like our Facebook page. We'll give you updates when we send out uh, when I put up new videos and stuff. And thanks for watching and have a great day.